Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix unknown error code during application install uh, that is uh, 110 on Google Play Store. So if you're getting this error, then you can follow, you know, this tutorial and I'm going to show you a couple of methods and you can try that out and let's see if this, you know, fixes your issue or not. Okay, guys. So uh, this, you know, error code, you know, 110. It can occur because of the following reasons so if you had you know Android 4.4 KitKat and upgraded to a 5.0 lollipop or from 5.0 lollipop to Android 6.0 marshmallow then your hardware might not be compatible with the newer operating system okay so it could be one of the reason and also if you are using custom roms like sanajan mode or other it can occur because of this and also it can occur due to network problem so let's see uh, i'm gonna show you a couple of methods and you can you know just try that so method one we have is uh, you have to clear the cache and data of google play store google play services and if you see google services framework in download manager then you have to clear its you know cache and data as well okay and otherwise just leave it if you don't see and just clear the cache and data of google play store and google play services okay guys so let me show you how you can do that and after that we will come to this step three okay so so just open the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager okay just tap over here and just swipe to the right to all tabs and find here google play store so let me find that here i have google play store just tap on it and just tap on clear data and then tap on ok and just go back and find here google play services so here i have just tap on it and then tap on manage space and then tap on clear all data and then tap on ok and just go back and find here google services framework so here i have just tap over here and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok and okay let me do it again it's not cleared tap on ok and it's now done ok guys so just go back and find here download manager so here i have download manager just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok and then go back ok guys and after that you need to remove your google account and re-add it again ok so if you have more than one uh, google account associated then you have to remove every account so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here accounts okay so let me find that okay here i have accounts just tap on it and then tap on google and then tap on gmail and then tap on this three dots over here and then tap on remove account and then tap on remove account okay so it's now done okay guys and after that uh, you need to go back and just open play store app on your phone and as you can see that it's checking info And just enter your email over here and then tap on next uh, just enter your password 
and then tap on next accept the terms of service and you have to scroll over here and then tap on next you can set up payment info if you like but I'm just selecting no thanks and I will do it later and then tap on continue and uh, as you can see it's now opening just tap on get started and just you know try to download or update an app okay okay guys so you tried this you know method one and it doesn't fix this your issue so you can try this you know method two so you have to uninstall the updates of google play store if you have okay? so in order to do that uh, you have to go to the settings of your phone and find here apps or application manager so let me find that here i have apps just tap on it and just swipe to the right to all tabs and find here google play store uh, just open google play store app and just tap on uninstall updates and then tap on ok as you can see do you want to replace this app with the factory version yes just tap on ok as you can see it's uninstalling the updates and stop finished okay guys so after that you need to go to you know the play store and just try to download or update an app okay okay guys so you tried this you know method 2 and it doesn't fix this your issue so you have to try this you know method 3 so so you have to install the app manual okay so uh, in order to do that first of all you have to you know allow unknown sources so just go to the settings of your phone and find here security okay so just tap on it and here you have unknown sources allow installation of apps from unknown sources so i already enabled it so let me show you how you can enable it so just tap over here and then tap on ok okay guys so it's now enabled and after that you need to go back and you have to find the you know apk file of the app from google or apkmail.com okay and download it and then try to install it okay so it's really very simple just open you know your you know chrome browser or any other browser like firefox and go to google.com and just you know search it over here for any you know, apk suppose i want to find this you know adobe equal bit reader apk so i just need to type this and here i can see you know you know many links over here from apk for fun.com android apk apks free.com you can just go to any website and just download it and i try to install it and let's see if you know uh, this fixes your issue or not. okay guys so you tried this you know method three and it doesn't fix this your issue so you have to try this method four so you have to use a different wi-fi network or internet okay so just try you know you know different wi-fi network so go to the settings and uh, tap on wi-fi so i'm currently connected to this mtnl 61 so you can just you know scan the Wi-Fi networks over here and just try to connect it okay and obviously you must need the password for that network okay guys okay guys so you tried you know all the above methods and it doesn't fix this your issue then you have to try this method 5 so so you have to factory reset your phone so just go to the settings of your phone and find here backup and reset just tap over here and then tap on factory data reset 
and then tap on reset form okay so make sure you take you know backup of your you know data before doing a factory data reset and and let's see if you know this fixes your issue or not okay so just try this method five but before doing you know method five just try all of the above methods that i uh, told you okay guys so this method also doesn't fix this your issue so uh, if you are using custom roms like Cenazen mode or other it can occur because of this so you have to reflash it again or revert back to your original rom okay so uh, you need to check this you know method 6 as well okay guys so just try these methods and let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i will catch you in my another tutorials bye bye take care